Now let's see this example. Construct PDA for the language L is equal to a power n b power 2n such that n greater than or equal to 1. We know that PDA is represented by 7 tuples q comma sigma comma tau comma delta comma q naught comma z naught comma f. So first let us find out delta. So based on the delta we can write the remaining 6 tuples. Let us write the language here uh, n starts from 1. If n is equal to 1 then a power 1. So one occurrence of a means a. Next to b power 2 into 1 means b power 2. Two occurrences of b means double b. Next let n is equal to 2. a power 2 means two occurrences of a. Next to b power 2 into 2 means b power 4. Four occurrences of b. So 2 a's, 4 b's. So likewise we can write n number of strings. Now let us see what is the logic. Here we have two logics are there. Uh, the first logic is if we read a, if we read a, here b's are double. So if we read a, then push two a's onto the stack. The second step is if we read b, then perform the pop operation. So a will be popped from the stack. And for the first pop operation, change the state. Let the initial state is q0. For the first pop operation, change from q0 to q1. And for the next two pop operations, there is no need to change the state. And the last step is, we have to repeat step 2 until the entire input string is completely processed. Okay. So, this is logic 1. Now, let us see logic 2. If we read A, then push A onto the stack. Whereas here, Bs are double. So, for the first B, don't perform pop operation. Okay. Here, we have first B. So, don't perform any pop operation. Okay. Whereas, for the second B, perform the pop operation. Okay. So, likewise, for the third B, don't perform any operation. Don't perform any pop operation. For the fourth B, perform the pop operation. So, if you see here, here, if you take this input string, stack contains two A's. Next year, we have four B's. If you read first B, then don't perform any pop operation. If you read second B, then pop the stack. So, A will be popped. Next, for the third B, don't perform any pop operation. For the fourth B, perform the pop operation. This is the logic too. Uh, so, we can write uh, any logic in the program. Now, here I am implementing uh, logic 1. Uh, let us take the string AA4B. We know that input string ends with uh, epsilon. Epsilon. So, if, if you read epsilon, then it specifies that the uh, input string is completely read it. The input string is completely processed. So, based on the input string, let us write the transition functions. Let initially, let initially the stack contains z dot. Initially, let stack contains z dot. Top of the stack is z dot. So, the first transition function is delta of q naught comma. Let the first input symbol is a. a comma. This, this a is the first input symbol. If top of the stack is z naught. If top of the stack is z naught. Here, here, if we read A, then what we have to do? We have to push two A's onto the stack. Okay. Here we are performing push operation. For the push operation, there is no need to change the state. So the state will be as this only Q0. So for the single A, we have to push two A's onto the stack. Two A's onto the stack. As well as stack contains Z0 also. So this is nothing but the content of the stack. Next, let uh, we are at the second A. So, delta of Q0 comma. Input symbol is A. Various top of the stack is A. Now, the top of the stack is A. Then what we have to do? If we read A, then we have to push two A's onto the stack. So, there is no need to change the state. Keep the state same. We have to push two A's onto the stack. Two A's onto the stack. So, two A's. Push two A's. And let, we, here we have a single A. So, let this is that A. Okay. Let this is that A. So, these two A's are whenever we read input symbol A, then we have to read two A's onto the stack. This is nothing, this A is nothing but this A. Okay. So, now the input symbol is A. Now, what we have to do? We have to push two A's onto the stack. So, now the stack contains four A's. Okay. Next, let the read, read head is at uh, this B. So, delta of Q0 comma. Let the input symbol is B and top of the stack is A. Then what we have to do? 
if we read b then for the first b what we have to do we have to change the state so change the state from q0 to q1 and pop the stack here for popping we need to write epsilon so epsilon specifies that we are performing the pop operation so the top a will be popped from the stack so now the stack contains 3s so next delta of now the state is q1 it's not q0 so state is changed from q0 to q1 so q1 comma let uh, read head is at b so q0 comma b comma b comma let the input symbol is a let the stocks uh, stacks tapo symbol is a okay here if we consider these two transitions here the state is q0 whereas here the state is q1 okay so then what we have to do for the remaining pop operations there is no need to change the state so we need to keep the state same same here if we read b then what we have to do simply we have to perform the pop operation so pop means epsilon so this epsilon specifies that we have to perform the pop operation so this a will be popped from the stack next we are at q1 only next input symbol is what b so q1 comma b comma stack stack mo symbol is a so then what we have to do q1 comma epsilon so simply pop the stack so already this transition is already written so there is no need to write the transition one more time so next also same delta of q1 comma b comma a so what we have to do simply pop the stack so now this a will be popped from the stack so this input symbol is readed so now we are at epsilon and the stack contains z not so delta of q1 comma now the input symbol is epsilon comma top of the stack is z not then then here the complete input string is processed the complete input string is processed so now we have to change the state so from q1 to q2 so this q2 is nothing but the final state final state and pop the stack so for popping the stack we have to use epsilon okay so pop the stack now pop the stack so now the stack doesn't contains any elements so these are nothing but transition functions now let us write now let us construct a transition diagram so here what is the initial state the initial state is q0 here the initial state is q0 q0 if the input symbol is a if the input symbol is a and top of the stack is z0 then we have to replace z0 with a a z0 a a z0 so this is the first first transition next uh, from q0 to q0 only so once again we have to write the self loop if the input symbol is a and top of the stack is a then we have to replace with 2s 2s we have to replace with 2s uh, if we have uh, if the stack contains a then we need to write that a also that a also so next we have to change from q0 to q1 so q0 to q1 so here the state is q0 q1 so if the input symbol is b if the input symbol is b as well as top of the stack is a then we have to perform the pop operation so means epsilon epsilon okay so uh, transitions on q0 are over next q1 to q1 so that is self loop only if the input symbol is b and top of the stack is a then it should be replaced with epsilon so we have to perform the pop operation <coughs> next to from q1 to q2 q1 to q2 if the input symbol is epsilon top of the stack is z0 then replace with epsilon so this q2 is nothing but the final state okay so this is the transition diagram okay now let us write the final let us write the push down automata tuples so let us write here for space constraints uh, uh, i am writing here m is equal to so the first tuple is q so here how many states are there three states so let us note down those three states q0 comma q1 comma q2 so next one is sigma input alphabet mainly contains two symbols they are a and b so a comma b next comma tau means stack alphabet stack alphabet mainly contains two symbols z0 as well as s so z0 comma a next delta so already transition functions are written so let us write delta next the initial state is q0 only and the stack alphabet uh, 
and the topmost symbol of the stack is z not only and what is the final state q2 is the final state q2 is the final state so this is the pushdown automata for this language